This is truly the sad life of an MK Ultra mind control victim. Their stories are always so similar. As you can clearly see here, the first scene of Lady Gaga's music video begins with her performing in front of thousands of fans, something she's very used to. But immediately after, we see Lady Gaga start speedily driving away from the overwhelming crowd. This undeniably represents Lady Gaga's leave of absence from the Illuminati-controlled music industry. This point is further proven by Lady Gaga's emotional interview at the 2015 Revolution Summit. I have had to make decisions like, why am I unhappy? Okay, okay, so this Stephanie Gaga hybrid person. <laughs> Why are you unhappy? Why is it that you want to quit music a couple years ago? It's like, well, I really don't like selling these, you know, uh, fragrances, perfumes. I don't like uh, wasting my time spending days just shaking people's hands and smiling and taking selfies. It feels shallow to my existence. I have a lot more to offer than my image. I don't like being used to make people money. I uh, feel sad when uh, I am overworked and that I just become a money-making machine and that my passion and my creativity take a back seat. That makes me unhappy. So what did I do? I started to say no. I'm not doing that. I don't want to do that. I'm not taking that picture. I'm not going to that event. I'm not standing by that because that's not what I stand for. And slowly but surely... I As the video continues, we see Lady Gaga hastily driving away from the evils of the industry and the uncontrollable crowd of fans that constantly swarm her. As she's driving, she ends up lost in a barren land that's void of all life and is completely desolate. The image of the barren land has very occult ties and is frequently used throughout various music videos by the elites. To further understand the symbolism of the barren land or the desert, we must read Luke chapter 11 when the unclean spirit is gone out of a man, he walketh through dry places seeking rest, and finding none, he saith, I'll return unto my house whence I came out. And when he cometh, he findeth it swept and garnished. Then goeth he, and taketh to him seven other spirits, more wicked than himself. And they enter in, and dwell there. And the last state of that man is worse than the first. In essence, this describes that only the wicked find their way to the barren land looking for rest. That journey never ends successfully. Unmistakably, Lady Gaga reveals to many that she is being possessed and tortured by demons and unclean spirits due to her occult ties with the Illuminati music industry. Once again, this is further proven by Lady Gaga herself. I had this dream quite recently that was so terrifying, so morbid and terrifying. And I called, um, I called Deepak Chopra, who I work with, and I was telling him my dream, terrified that the devil. And I, I the dream was so terrifying. I thought somehow a a devil force was trying to take hold of me, a darkness. Mm. I, I guess I see devil and darkness. Gaga's former assistant Jennifer O'Neill sued the singer for $400,000 in unpaid overtime. Now, explosive details about Mama Monster's demands are out. Jennifer claims that Gaga would make her sleep in the same bed with her every night because the singer didn't like to sleep alone. Consequently, the assistant is bitter and she claims that she never had her own room, didn't have privacy, and didn't even have a chance to make private phone calls. Undoubtedly, this is the reason we see Lady Gaga in the desert trying to seek rest from her tumultuous relationship with Satan and fame, though she finds none.
he bringeth out those which are bound with chains, but the rebellious dwell in a dry land. Hey guys, welcome back to Clever Music. I'm Bridget Daly in Hollywood with a bizarre Gaga update. She's apparently having some wicked night terrors. Now sources say Gaga's been having a recurring nightmare about the devil. Now Gaga explained the dream is about a phantom taking her into a room where there's a blonde girl with ropes tied to her limbs pulling her apart. How creepy is that? Well, we certainly hope it's getting better. We'd be scared to fall asleep if we were Gaga. What do you guys think she needs to do to stop these night terrors for good? Clearly, Lady Gaga is in rebellion against Jesus Christ. Hence, why the video revolves around the symbolism of the dry land. Lady Gaga is being portrayed as a rebel who walks with the original rebel, Satan. And because Lady Gaga is in rebellion, she has opened herself up to demonic possession and entities that can never leave her alone. Hence, why the next scene shows her back in the limelight, performing in front of the same fans that she tried to escape from. Please do not forget that hatred or evil, whatever you want to call it, it's intelligent, it's smart, and it's invisible. It's an invisible snake that while it is planning to make its attack, it is thinking to itself, I am going to divide my enemy into smaller, less strong groups, and then I'm going to make them hate each other, so that it's easier to take them down. And as we're all yelling at each other, trying to figure out which group it is that's causing the problem, evil's winning. Throughout the whole song, you can even distinctly hear her admit that she's being possessed by demons. Here are just some of the lyrics from Lady Gaga's Perfect Illusion. And I quote, Where are you? Because I can't see you. It was a perfect illusion. But I feel you watching me. Unquote. These lyrics speak for themselves and show how Lady Gaga has unclean spirits following her and watching her at all times. We can also attest that she's being watched by the Illuminati itself. And at one point, we even see these very same evil spirits that dwell within her. So in essence, Lady Gaga shows us how she tried to leave the industry and the demons within it. But in the end, she succumbed to the pressure and came back because of the heavy mind control the elites have her under. This is said by Lady Gaga herself in the beginning of the song, and I quote, I'm trying to get control, and the pressure is taking its toll, unquote. This is truly the sad life of an MK Ultra mind control victim. Their stories are always so similar. Lady Gaga is the alter ego of Stephanie Joanne Angelina, created and manifested by the Illuminati elites. The victim's brain then becomes compartmentalized and a new personality, which is then molded and educated by the manipulators, emerges. MK Ultra allows the Illuminati to create a sort of a puppet that can be controlled and manipulated. This type of programming also allows the victim, or Lady Gaga, to do things that she would not normally agree to and it also prevents the victims from truly walking away or exposing the industry. This alter ego is used to push certain agendas on the masses through her fame. Project Monarch, or MK Ultra, is a mind control technique secretly funded by the government which exposes the subject to a trauma so violent that his or her mind creates a dissociation. We can tell a monarch slave by the symbols the elites push hidden in plain sight, such as butterflies, one-eye symbolism, masks, bird cages, multiple alter egos, and so on. Sadly, Lady Gaga is not the only victim and will probably never be freed 
from this type of satanic abuse. Her music video exposes the industry for what it is, and she's letting her fans know that the industry is nothing but an illusion. Perfect on the outside, but wicked on the inside. Do you, do you record while while the bus is moving, or does it have to come to a stop? Before yeah, well, you... sometimes they don't want to, and they're saying, you know, Gaga, we can't get, you know, the, the frequency's weird, and, you know, it's sounding a little bit strange, and I'm like, if you don't get this right now, I swear to Lucifer, I swear to Lucifer, I swear to Lucifer, I swear to Lucifer. I swear to Lucifer. I swear to Lucifer.